Hi. How is everybody today? I am coming to you to give you an update on the sacred geometry. There's now 10 activations. Creator the other day told me there's 15 altogether. I have no idea what the other five are going to be. But I gotta tell you, the 10 so far has really been shifting my life and that of many, many, many of my clients. It's just truly amazing work and I'm so thankful to the creator of all that is for um, making me do this. <laughs> um, I was brought to the Roslyn Chapel where I received the first activation from the sun dial and that activation helps bring your DNA levels up to bring you into the 12 dimensions, making it much easier to do the shift through, through this world and what's going on with us. And it really empowered me. The next morning I woke up at 4 a.m., Creator woke me up and said, it's time to start writing your book. Creator's been telling me for eight years to write my book. Guess what, I'm done. I start at the end of March. This is the middle of July. I'm ready to start editing it. I've actually started on my second book that Creator last week told me I had to write. <laughs> it's like, okay. The second set of downloads, I was brought to Avery in Stonehenge, and these are activations. These activations, what they do is really in tune you more in with your spirit guides and your angels, and, and really increases your healing abilities. It's really helped me with my clients help them. Um, I'm so much more in tune than I ever have been, being able to connect with their bottom beliefs to help them shift. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, um, Lord Metatron um, meets me in the sixth plane to do these activations. I had no idea who Lord Metatron was before I started this work. Um, the creator of all that is told me to go to Rosalind Chapel. When I did, I sat down, and when I went to the seventh plane to meet with the creator of all that is, I was told to go to the sixth plane. And that is the laws of the universe. And when I went into the sixth plane, I was met by Lord Metatron, and I, I didn't know, again, I didn't know who he was. I asked him, my mom, who are you, and what are you doing here? And he told me he was here to um, assist me in the activations. So he showed up for the first two, and he's really guided me a lot since then, and it's really beautiful. And when I went to do the third set of activations, now called the Moses Codes, and the reason is, is I was met by Moses in the sixth plane along with Lord Metatron. I asked him, I'm all, who are you? He's all like, Moses. It's like, okay, what are you doing here? He told me he was here to assist with the activations. And then the super DNA is the fourth activation. And the super DNA, what that does is it turns on four more chromosomes in your DNA. It's truly beautiful watching this work happen. And uh, the studies they did in the 90s on this, there was over 55 million Americans at that time. And when they um, tested the DNA, they found that it was 3,000 times less likely to get a disease or sickness. And in the Bible codes, it says um, that this new DNA is the end of disease. So how cool is that? And then the Christ consciousness is truly beautiful. What it does is it connects your, your heart chakra and, and your, um, like your Christ consciousness or world heart chakra. And what they do is they connect together and then I see um, it, totally connect to the seventh plane and what this does is really bring you into love and compassion for yourself and others the Christ consciousness you know so you can see people who how they truly are and still love them <laughs> and then the um, the fruit of life which is also the activation of your 13 chakra systems and what this does creator tells me it helps your manifestations by a hundred times and what I've noticed with my clients is they're doing things that they truly love to do now for themselves. It helps step you out of the paradigm 
so you can see what's really going on instead of being caught up in it. And it, it really helps you manifest what you truly desire, which is beautiful. It connects your higher self to, to Mother Earth. You know, it's absolutely beautiful. And then the illumination activation, what this does is it activates within you the memories from all your past lives. Don't worry, they're not going to all just flood in. But what it does is it makes it much, much easier to connect to those for growing and learning and healing. And it also helps you to be able to see and manifest your future lives for you and of course the present. And I was also told that what this does is when you go into your next life, you will still be able to retain these memories. So once it's activated within your soul, it's activated. So you won't have to re-remember like a lot of us have had to do here on this planet. Um, the original light language, um, this is really cool. I was met by, um, oh, the Christ consciousness, Jesus shows up. Um, on, on the original light language, a bunch of angels shows up for this. And it's the sheriff angels that show up. And what this does is it allows you to communicate in love and hear love but also to stand in your power. I noticed a big shift in me last week when I was having to deal with someone that was pretty difficult and I could not get caught up in her anger. I could stand back and send her love. And before what I used to do is I would just let them have their way so it wouldn't be a problem for me. Well, I didn't. I stood in my power, um, but with love. And I didn't get caught up in the drama. Um, I stayed calm when she was flipping out. So <laughs> that was totally cool. I don't think I could have done that before those activations. And then the God code, and this is what creator of all that is told me to call it. And the picture on the website of the God code is exactly what I saw during this activation. And the God code is so cool. You know why? Because it allows you to see through God's eyes, meaning you can see the 3D world and know it's a 3D world, and know that it is, it's, it's not truly real, because we're just really here to learn, and we're really spiritual beings just acting out things here on earth. And it allows you to see the evilness that goes on in the world and know that it's truly light. And it's here playing its part for us to be able to get in our power. So when you know it's truly not evil and everything is light, it, it steps you out of that fear and out of that control that is going on and allows you to be, again, who you truly are. So all of these step not step on each other, but activate each other and it keeps growing and getting bigger and bigger and, and you expand more and more. So like I said, I know there's a lot more coming. The 10th one that is now available, I got um, about four nights ago and I was connecting with myself on Sirius, which I haven't told you about yet, but anyways, um, I was talking to myself there and, and she touched me on the forehead. And I'm all, what are you doing? And she said that she was activating me for the star seed. And I'm all, what's the star seed? And she said, the star seed activates you where you can communicate with other beings from other planets really easily. See, I'm getting chills just talking about this. That you can communicate with them really easily and know that you're safe and that you can, you can listen to them and their vibration and, and, and allow them to help you as they're here helping us. You know, there's, there's, there's many beings from many different planets here on Earth. Um, I always hear there's 12 different, um, different planets that occupy um, the Earth. Some are seen and some aren't seen. But a lot of them are here to help us. Some, well, they're all here to help us. Some are on what we call in duality, the evil side, and some are on the light side. 
but truly it's all here for us. And something that's really helped me is, well, I already knew it intuitively, but it was nice to read it too in the God Codes. Because if you read the book in the God Codes, it talked about a lot of the things that happened through history and some things that were even going to happen. And it was all in the Bible. And it was places, dates, names, everything else. Well, you know what it says about our future? You know what it says? It says it's up to us. And it is up to us. And I totally believe I'm doing this work to help bring us in our power and allow us to shift this. Because we can shift this. We can shift this to light. Again, it's up to us. If you listen to Greg Braden or David Icke or, or David Wilcox or, or anybody else out there, they're saying it's up to us. I say, Creator says, it's up to us. The Bible code says it's up to us. So the more we get into our power and our, we shift our own stuff, because we are the world, we're all connected. So when we clear out our belief systems, it shifts the whole world. Again, because we're all connected, get involved. I offer the sacred geometry um, by webinars, so it's more inexpensive that way. Um, the first two sets are available right now, which means you can receive six of these activations, the first six, through a webinar. Um, the other ones aren't available that way yet, but it also includes belief work through the webinar. And then I also do one-on-one -on -one sessions. And when I'm activating you, I hear your bottom beliefs. They come up. And they are going to come up, even when we're off the phone. And you're alone over a couple days period, these beliefs are going to come up. They really, really, really help my clients shift um, a lot of belief systems. You know, some of them have gone through a little trauma while this has been going on, but then we, we work on it and it clears it up and now they've shifted really much more in their power. And some of my clients just go straight into their power via work, they're having their best days ever or they're out of the fear, they're going back to school. You know, they're doing their business. There's just so many different shifts that are happening with this work. And I'm just so thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you to be doing this work. I'm the only one I know that does all of this this way. I mean, there's an ancient, um, ancient Secrets, the Flower of Life book you can read. There's a lot of breathing meditations you could do that through that. Um, Corey Love has these like stickers and stuff you can buy which help activate you. Um, um, an amazing man, um, Dr. Miko Sankey has four books on this. He does it in acu um, an esoteric acupuncture. I've actually been working with him for about 10 years. And I was talking to him the other day, I must, do you know what I'm doing? He goes, yeah, I know. He goes, you're, you're one of the grid workers for the earth. And I'm like, well, why didn't you tell me that 10 years ago this is what I'm supposed to be doing? And he said, because I wasn't ready to hear it. And I got to tell you, all of this has come to me from the creator of all that is. And I'm being assisted by um, many light workers. Um, and I'm very thankful to do this. And if you feel I can help you, um, you know, give me a call. Again, it's very inexpensive via... It's half price if you do it on a webinar. Um, I am going to be also recording it in a meditation. Oh, on the webinar, I take you into the Cossack Records to do it. With me on the phone, I don't, but we do a lot of belief work around it too. Anyways, love to have an amazing day, and I will update you when I have more to tell you. Thanks. Bye.